Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are diving into an exciting sports poster design tutorial using Adobe Photoshop. Before we get started, I want to wish you all a very happy holidays and a very happy new year. And don't forget the project files are available on my Patreon. And yes, there are tons. Yes, there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and let's create an artboard first. And for that, press Ctrl and N and I'm going for four by five. Again, the resolution is the same key. Let's keep it as 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to it. And let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first image. So let's start with this image. Let's drag and drop this image right over here and it's already a smart object so let's make it a little smaller i guess maybe somewhere around this size all right and let's go for another image so i'll just go with this one let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's make it a little bigger somewhere around this side size and Let's turn off the visibility for this one and let's work on this one first. So let's see, let's keep it right over here. Let's make it a little bigger. Yep, let's keep it somewhere around here. And let's go on very bottom. Let's go and let's add a solid and let's give it a kind of darker red color. Maybe somewhere around this color. Yep or maybe some more darker yep let's go for this one and let's add a clip so let's go over here let's click an eclipse and let's make it a circle so here we go let's keep it somewhere around here in the center there we go and let's turn off the stroke and let's go let's go with this color as a fill and let's keep it like that and here we go let's keep it right around here let's turn on that layer Control t let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it right around here let's go for this image let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it let's just make it a little bigger here here we go all right here we go and let's do some adjustment let's keep it somewhere around here and uh, let's do let's add a gradient and here we go and let's keep all the images inside a group and let's rename it as image folder one let's select this layer Control T, emails, folder 02. And let's make, let's select this layer, press Control G, and let's keep it inside a group and let's rename it as emails, folder 03. And then, okay, now let's go right over here. Let's add a gradient map. So let's click on that gradient map. And let's see, let's go we're kind of darker red for the darker side and let's add a one color right over here and let's give it a kind of brighter red something something like this and for the highlights let's go for a darker color I know yep let's go for Kind of this color and let's add a one more color and yep let's keep it a kind of this color and let's keep it like that and let's right click create clipping max and this gonna affect this layer only 
So let's make a copy, Control J, and let's keep it inside the image holder too. And same thing, right click, create clipping max. And again, let's make a one more copy, Control J, and let's keep it inside image holder 01 and right click, create clipping max. And here we go. Now let's do a few color adjustments. So select uh, the uh, image layer, this image layer. Let's go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And let's increase the clarity just like so. And, and let's drop down the whites. And let's increase the exposure maybe somewhere around here. And yep, let's keep the texture around. I think uh, 11 sounds good and let's keep it like that and let's click on okay here we go and let's go on this image let's click on that layer too let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's try applying previous setting and for this one let's increase the exposure just a little bit i guess yep let's keep it like that and let's click on okay here we go and let's add some separation in between these images so let's go right over here just above the image holder 01 and let's create a one more layer and let's go to brush and i'm going to use this brush and let's go for a kind of similar color and maybe just a little brighter and now let's add a few strokes right here just like so and let's go right over here let's create a new layer let's keep it outside this folder and let's add few particles right around here Let's add one right here too. And let's go on the very bottom. Let's create a one more. Where? Here we go. Let's add one more stroke, maybe. Let's make it a little brighter for this one. And here we go. All right, let's keep it like that. Let's go on this image and let's add some is glow. So let's go on very top. Let's create a new layer. Go to brush and let's, let's try to create clipping max. And let's go for a general soft brush. And let's add like a soft is glow. Let's give it a kind of similar color. Here we go. Let's add a few glow right around here.
again go using the same brush let's go for a kind of brighter color and let's add a few strokes right around here and let's change the blending mode to overlay here we go and let's crop down the opacity just a little bit and let's rename it as glow let's add overlay on the very top so let's drag and drop a overlay on the very top let's scale this just like so and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's make it some more bigger here we go yep let's keep it like that and let's drop down the opacity just a little bit here we go and let's add a curve on very top let's go on here add a curve let's make it a little brighter let's add a little contrast and let's lift the saddle just just like just like that now let's drag and drop a cloud image on the very bottom let's scale it make it bigger let's keep it all the way to the bottom and let's change the blending mode to multiply and let's crop down the opacity a little bit here we go now let's add some text so let's go over here here let's keep it right around here let's make a copy Control j Control G, let's move a little bit. There we go. And maybe for this equip, let's move it a little down, I guess. Control G. There we go. Again. Let's keep it right around here. And let's keep it inside a group, control G. Let's rename it as text. And let's make copy. Right click, convert. Let's see, let's convert to shape. Let's go to filter. Let's go to filter, let's go to blur and let's add a Gaussian blur. Yep, just like so. And let's do the same thing for this text. Go to filter, apply Gaussian blur. And here we go. And let's do the same thing for this eclipse. Uh, let's select the clip pair. Go to filter. Let's apply the same Gaussian blur. Just like so. And let's add a one more text right here. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care, be safe and be creative, bye bye.